Prashant Ruya, the vice chairman of SR Energy, joins me now. Sir, thank you so much for joining us. Overall, these earnings are pretty much in line with what analysts were expecting. Do you think you could have beat those estimates if you had done something differently? No, I think overall uh, we have uh, our results are very much in line with our projections and with the analyst uh, expectations. Uh, uh, the, the principal part of SR Energy is the growth projects for the power sector and the oil and gas sector. Uh, as you know, we have about $11 billion worth of projects which are currently under execution. And I'm happy to say that we made significant progress even since the IPO uh, in, the, uh, in these uh, projects. And all of these projects are currently on track for completion, uh, phase one by 2012 and phase two by 2014. Mr. Ria, I also wanted to ask you really about growth in terms of acquisitions. It does seem that there is a consolidation phase in the oil and gas energy. What exactly are you looking for? I know, for example, you've been talking about buying some refineries here in Europe. How is that going? Yes, uh, the primary strategy of SR Energy is to be a low-cost integrated company, uh, energy company, which is focused on demand for these products in India. Uh, in fact, over 90% of our current assets and investments is in the Indian market. Having said that, we will look internationally for home for a home for some of our products, for some of our very high quality uh, petroleum products, and one of those homes is in Europe. Uh, I would not want to uh, talk specifically about any one, any one transaction or any one uh, uh, discussion, but principally uh, our strategy remains focused on uh, India and India's uh, energy demand. But do you believe that you will be able to gain the assets, the European refineries that you want? Uh, I think uh, uh, as regards Shell, uh, we have said that we are in discussion and uh, at this point of time uh, there's nothing really more uh, for us to report on. I, we seem to understand of course that there are also assets from BP and Shell on the African continent. Would you be interested in any of those? Yes, uh, as I said, one of the uh, strategies of SR Energy is to look for a home for some of the very high value added products uh, coming out of our refinery at Vadinar in Gujarat. Uh, and certainly Europe and uh, Africa are, are part of those markets. Uh, but uh, in an over, given an overall context, uh, majority of our investments uh, are very much in uh, India. So would you, for example, then consider a, a counterbid for some of the assets, uh, some of the stakes in current industry, so counterbidding against Vedanta? Well, uh, as I just said, it's not our policy to talk specifically about uh, individual uh, opportunities, uh, but we, we, are, uh, we will remain focused uh, on the strategy which I have just uh, laid out. Uh, so how would you finance any such acquisitions? It, it does seem that you're on the acquisitive trail, or at least might be interested in acquisitions. Do you find financing quite easy at the moment? Would you pay in cash? Uh, well, uh, again, uh, overall, uh, from, in, from a financing perspective, we made uh, significant progress in the in the major investments which we are doing currently. Uh, we have, in fact, uh, achieved financial tie-up for close to nine and a, uh, nine and a half thousand megawatts of the eleven and a half thousand megawatts of power which we are currently building. Most of this financing has been done in India under under in project uh, in project finance mode. So we don't. I mean, we uh, we we do have access uh, to financing for our growth which we are currently doing uh, primarily, as I said, uh, in, uh, in the Indian context. Uh, we have so many concerns from certain analysts that actually the world economy is growing, but we may see a double dip recession. Are, are you concerned? Is it easier to do business now than it was for you six, seven months ago? Yes, I do believe that the overall environment is, uh, is better. In fact, this is the first time that we've actually seen a growth for petroleum products uh, uh, all around the world. Uh, having said that, in Asia, the, the demand for, uh, for the, for remains very much intact. And specifically, uh, coming to India, we've had, uh, our, over the last two quarters, uh, GDP growth inching back to 8.6%. 8 uh, and even last year, when, we, when the world was going through a crisis, uh, India had 6.7% of GDP growth. So the demand uh, scenario in India remains very strong. It remains strong in, in Asia, and yes, uh, and we do see signs of recovery uh, in the developed markets. All right, Mr. Ria, thank you so much. A pleasure to speak to you, uh, the Vice Chairman then of SR Energy.